Good evening. Uh, I just got a request to discuss cross-sectional areas on waste and vent systems through one of my other videos. And I just happened to see that. I literally just finished talking about it in my class. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this quick little video to talk about the importance of cross-sectional areas. Um, we're gonna go ahead and draw something up real quick. And it's going to be literally really quick and very ugly, but you know, hey, hopefully this gets the point across. So you have a waistline. And let's say coming out of the house, it's four inches. So this is a four inch sanitary sewer. And it's a four inch sanitary sewer because it's past the two foot mark from the house. If it's within two feet of the house, it's called sanitary drainage. That's beside the point. So we're not gonna talk about all the fixtures that are in there. We're just gonna talk about these vents that are coming up through the roof. So let's say I have, let's say I have four vents through the roof and each one of them is a two inch vent through the roof. Two inch vent through the roof two inch vent through the roof and two inch vent through the roof. And again, th these are, we're not talking about the rest of the system, okay? This is just how it is, this is how it worked out. We sized everything out and this is what we got. So what's important here is to realize that what's going out needs to be the same as what's coming in. By that, I mean, let me put it, let me put it a little more logical way. If I have a four inch sewer line going to the city sewer, okay, the main sewer line, that means I have a pipe that when not in use is there's sewer gas going through this line. And this is four inches in diameter. Okay. That amount of sewer gas, if I don't have the same area that is going up through the roof and leaving, I'm creating what's called a positive pressure. I'm creating positive pressure inside my waste and vent system, which is counterintuitive because we're trying to do an equalization of pressures in this system, okay? So the code requires that the cross-sectional area of all the vents So the cross-sectional area of all of these vents total has to be equal to or greater than equal or greater than my sanitary drain line. Okay. The reason why we can be greater is it's a positive pressure because most of the sewer gas and the stuff that's in the sewer, it's, it's building up gases. It's building up that pressure that's heating. It's like, it's, like, um, it's like a pile of manure, you know, it creates that heat through compost. Well, that's what's happening in the sewer line, kind of, you know, same concept. It's creating a gas. And as it's creating that methane gas, it needs to be removed. It's, cre it, it's, it's creating its own airflow. So the airflow has to be vacated. And to do that, you use the vents. So here we have to come up with the area of each one of these. In order to do that, the, the video that was at the beginning of this um, is the area of a circle. Area is pi times the radius squared. Well, if this is a four inch diameter, that means my radius, which is half the diameter, is two inches. So pi is equal to 3.14 and my radius being two, I'm gonna go ahead and square it. So two times two, because squaring is times multiplying it by itself. So 3.14 times two times two. So that leaves me with two times two is four, 3.14 times four. So I end up with,
12.56 square inches. So I have 12.56 square inches of surface area in my four inch circle. This bad boy right here, 12.56 square inches. So the key in this is trying to figure out exactly how many two inch vents do I have to penetrate through my roof. So let's find out what the area of a two inch circle is. It's the same, same concept. So you have your two inch circle and we'll go ahead and do two inches here. So if that's two inches, then that bad boy right there is one inch, right? So the radius of a two inch circle is one inch. To find out what that is, let's go ahead and let's get rid of this. And we're going to have our radius of one, so it's going to be one times one. And 3.14 times one, right? Blow this out a little bit for you. Three point one four times one. I know this is a little bit redundant because everybody knows what three point one four times one is. It's three point one four. So a two inch vent through the roof has a cross sectional area of three point one four square inches, right? And if I have four of them. Guess what? We literally just got done doing that. Zoom in for effect on this. Oh my God, look at that, 12.56 square inches. So for a four inch sanitary sewer line, I can run, excuse me, I can run four two inch vents through the roof. Or if you wanted to manipulate and do everything else, you calculate the size of the three inch vent, uh, which comes out to seven something or other. Let's find out. This one might take a little bit more math. <clears throat> uh, three inch circle or three inch pipe, half of the diameter for a three inch pipe is gonna be inch and a half. Uh, so we have 1.5 and we have to square that. So we're going to multiply it by itself. That gives me 5 times 5, 25. Put the 2, that's 5 plus 2 is 7. And then you got the 5 and the 1. And that's 5, 12, 2, 2.25. So I have to take my 2.25, multiply it by 3.14. Zoom out yet again. So we have 3.14. We're going to multiply that by 2.25. Multiply it. So that gives you 20 and 7 and 15. And then it gives you 8, 2 and 6. 8, 2 and 6. 0, 15. Uh, 16, and that's what, 10 and 7, and then that's what, so 7.06. I don't remember what I said, but I'm pretty sure I said 7 something. So it is 7.06 square inches, which means I can do two two-inch vents and one three-inch vent because 3.14, 3.14, that's 6.28. 6.28 would end up being what? Um, so 13.34, which is higher than 12.56. I hope that this quick little demonstration on cross sectional area explains what was asked. Um, I probably went into a little more detail than was necessary, but the, the crux of it is the vents through the roof have to be equal to or greater than the sanitary sewer line coming out of the building. 
if it's a four inch line coming out of the building, then you take that area, which is 12.56 square inches, and you make sure that the areas for the vent are going to be equal to that or greater than. In, in this example, it was four two inch vents, which equaled out to 12.56, which was perfect. So that is pretty much it. I, again, hope it helped. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.